What's up guys, Daniel Rodriguez here and welcome to my quick review for A Monster Calls. This film stars Liam Neeson, Sigourney Weaver, and Felicity Jones, and the main uh, protagonist, the boy that's in this film, the film that revolves around him. I do not know the actor's name, uh, but a very, very talented lad. Uh, very, very, very talented. Anyway, this is a quick review. This is not a full movie review. My full movie review will be out in the next few days. There will be no spoilers in there, as there are none in here either. Uh, but expect that, because in my full movie review, I do my pros, I do my cons, and I do a final score. In here, I because uh, I only watched it about a week ago, I should have got my review out Bef you know, probably six days ago, really. But uh, I'm still kind of writing down the pros. I'm writing down the console. I'm still writing my movie review and trying to just think where I want to put it. But uh, at the end, I will kind of tease where from a 0 to 10 where it might be. Now, this film, I didn't see any trailers for it. I know I saw a few clips, like a few promos, but I never saw the full trailer. I didn't know what the story was revolving around. And let me tell you, it is uh, some stuff is depressing, man, but it's, it's so well acted out. Uh, I absolutely, absolutely enjoy this film. Uh, first off, Liam Neeson plays a monster. That, that's really kind of the name, a monster. Uh, he plays the monster. And the CGI in here is fantastic. It really, really is. Uh, the cinematography in here, I mean, Liam Neeson is scary, and he just everything about it really with the boy and how he sees the world and how he needs to face his fears and he needs to not lie to himself and you know he has to be ready for the inevitable on what's going on in the film and listen this is how I kind of felt with this with the monster calls it's slow it really is it's a slow film there were times where I was getting bored in this film where I wanted to fall asleep. I really did. I was there, there. This film is boring at times. It is. I'm not lying with that. It gets boring. It gets uninteresting. You kind of want it to hurry up. It, it takes long to do this and that. But once Liam Neeson comes out and then he starts coming out more and more and the monster and the boy and they do these stories. He tells a story. And these stories are so well detailed and so well done. It's even better than some of the actual scenes in the film. Now, like the actual live action scenes and the little story that they're telling the story telling is amazing in here but the third act is probably the best act in this film uh absolutely felicity jones did awesome in this film I, and that saying because i didn't like her in inferno i thought she was not the best she was mediocre i thought she was a little mediocre in rogue one but in this film i'm like that's the felicity jones i know she's good she's good in this film she really was she was really good in this film uh, and Sigourney Weaver, she's good in this film. She's not great, but she's good in here. Uh, the boy really stole the show a lot. Him and Liam Neeson stole the show. I think the boy's a very talented actor. He has a strong career in, in the movie business in the future. Uh, can't wait to see what he does next, what his next project will be. But let me tell you this, man. The third act is the strongest one. And there are parts to this film where I, I kind of, when I walked out, it was almost an experience because it's an emotional film. Tears were coming out of my eyes in certain parts of this film. You get connected to certain things in this film. And kind of what is happening in real life with someone in my family. So there's stuff that kind of... it touches everyone's heart and it kind of punches you in the gut at times this film so it is a strong film it is it's boring yes the first act the second act there are good moments to it but the third act is where the, this film really shines and um what was i saying there the third act definitely is is great and the ending almost where i want to say that certain scenes in this film is a masterpiece the way that they were done, the, the way that, like, it just hits you in the head, and it's like, oh my gosh, like, all of it, all of it was there the whole entire time, and now you could see it. And that's something that doesn't happen in every film, and I, and I absolutely love that. So, with that, I kind of said, yes, it's boring, it gets boring at times, it's very slow, it's a very long film, but near the third act and the end of the second act, that's where it shines the most. And with that, man, I thought it was a really good film. 
not great, but it's really good. And uh, I, you know, maybe, maybe I'll probably end up seeing this film again one day uh, because it's just it, it's 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 interesting. It's an interesting mythology behind it, especially with the stories. And uh, I'd like to see how uh, you know they made it all behind the scenes and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, with that, a zero out of a ten for a monster calls. I will give it between a uh, probably around the seven eight seven or eight somewhere in between there so hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy that where i put it but it was a really good film man thanks for watching make sure to smack that like button if you enjoyed this quick review comment down below to me what you guys thought about the film did you like it did you not share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more awesome quick reviews and watch out for my full movie review for monster calls in the next few days till next time bye bye